realize is that what did he say the snake well he's like i feel bad for you i realize what it's like being trapped somewhere and blah 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 and then the snake like actually replies back he's like holy shit what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, now you're gonna come because the little peasant boy's coming. <laughs> you're coming. Wait, this is Harry Potter? What are we talking about? Yeah. The peasant has the first one? The peasant has. No, it's true, though. Snake. I like this. You don't remember the movies. snake? Yeah. Where he falls in this love. This is like one of the most epic parts. Doesn't he just run like, like, into a wall and go to school or something? Whoa, you just <laughs> missed the part where he got his letter <laughs> where he figured that. Whoa, oh, oh, really? Oh! Sorry. Really I know the story's over. Really the story's over. No, the story's over. These these three decide to make their own little story. So. I'm listening no, to you. No, no, we're, no, we're listening. I promise we're listening. Oh, Cindy, Cindy, I'm Cindy, I promise. Cindy. We're listening. I don't I'm want to sorry. tell you I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. I know, I was Cindy, not listening. too much for me. No. I'd rather just tell my story scare tactics. Say that. It's pushing me. Did, were you there when I told the story? Oh, what happened? Scare tactics? No, I told it to you. When I was on scare tactics. Remember the baby and the... I mean, the worms and the, are, the, the lady screaming. Did I not tell you the story? I've never really saw her. No. Mm -hmm. I don't think oh, okay. I so, a couple years ago, you already heard this story. Uh, I went to this audition thinking um, they were Scarce saying that they were right. casting yeah. for like a new. Harry Potter? No. Oh. Well, then what the hell's going on? We're switching. <laughs> we switched it really? we chose the to bullshit. a real life story. So, I went to this oh, casting yeah. and oh, they God. put in the advert that they're looking for like a group of friends. Who potentially might be like the new like hills, right? Like, but like, because the hills just finished, so they're kind of like want to do that, or whatever. So I came to this mm -hmm. audition Detention. being all like, oh, the hills was so good, uh, right? So yeah. Loved it. Anyway, I was super excited. I was like, yeah, my group of girlfriends are blah 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 blah. I named them. Uh, one of the girlfriends was my best friend, which was the roommate that I took a picture of the dishes and uploaded. It. Uh, oh, oh, okay. yeah. So she was, she's in the story too. Yeah. So I went to the audition, and they're just asking me like, what are you afraid of? And I'm like, I'm not gonna tell you. I feel like you have to use it against me, just like Big Brother would. Uh, so you know. I put like spiders, paranormal activity, and like all that kind of thing. Um, and, that, and that was the end of it. Didn't hear from them again, nothing or whatever. Um, a couple weeks later, I went home to Muskoka to visit my mom. And my roommate calls me and was like, hey, so my dad has this friend that owns like this pharmaceutical um, lab or whatever. And they're switching locations from downtown to Mississauga. And they kind of need like secretaries to kind of like help them with packing stuff up or whatever. And I'm like, you do realize that I'm home in Muskoka, which is where she's from too. And I'm like, I'm home. Like I'm not gonna drive two and a half hours with it. She's like, they're gonna pay you like $300 to work for like an hour, like not even. Like they just really need people. So I'm like, um, oh, but not knowing that she already called my brother and told him what was going on. So my brother's pushing me, like, say, just go home, just go back to Toronto, like, nothing's here, mom's busy, I'm at school, you're not doing anything, just go home. So I drove all the way back to Toronto, um, and when I got home, she's like, okay, let's get dressed, because we have to be at this place in, like, a couple hours or whatever. So I got dressed, but she was like, oh, no, you shouldn't wear that. She, like, made me switch my outfit a couple of times to make it, like, but I'm like, oh, but I'm supposed to be a secretary, so why shouldn't I, like, wear what I originally picked, but whatever. So we, we get our thing and we drive to this little plaza in, I'm gonna go into full on details because I have nothing else to do today. Uh, somewhere in Mississauga or whatever. So while I'm in the car, I see this one like empty space and I think that's where, okay, that's where they're moving to. But there, but there was like this one guy standing at the door and I just didn't get it. But anyway, so he ran back inside. So then I walked in. We both walked in and they greeted us. They're like, oh, hi, how are you? Like, oh, hi, Cindy, how are you? And you are not knowing my friend's name, which is weird because in my head, I'm like, well, this is your dad's friend. Like, yeah. why would like, him know, but he knows my name. And I'm like, oh, hi, nice to meet you. And he goes, okay, yeah, so this is what's going on. Uh, we switched locations from our downtown office to up here. So we're gonna be transporting um, a lot of like paperwork, equipment over, um, blah, blah. You're gonna go with so-and-so to the downtown location. And Cindy, you're gonna stay here at this location. And I'm so overprotective with my friends. So I look at her and I'm like, blah, blah. You don't have to go anywhere that you do not want to go. Cause I'm thinking this guy is gonna <laughs> kidnap us yeah. and kill us. Like this is my, the first thing that comes to my head. <laughs> and then she's like, no, I'm good. That's fine. Like, I'm like, Wait. but you don't Wait. have, you can just stay here with me. Like she's like, no, 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 I was Wait. fine. Like. Whatever, so she leaves, and so now I'm just with this guy. And the guy gives me a lab coat. He goes, oh, here, put this on, you know, that's part of our uniform. I was like, sure, I put it on. And he goes, oh, do you have uh, your phone on you? Because that in interferes with all of our medical equipment, you know, with the whole, in the hospitals, you can't bring your phones or anything like that. Yeah, I, was like, I would be thinking I'm getting kidnapped. And right. I was like, um, okay, give him my phone, and he puts it in 
his lab coat pocket. And I'm a very over analytical person. Like I was just telling you how I was the thing. Like I overthink things. And I'm like, why would you take my phone away and put it in your lab coat pocket if you're saying that it's like whatever? So then he walks me in and he's like, so this is, so this is, it literally looks like this. Like totally empty space, a bunch of cupboards there. You see some security cameras. Um, so I was like super confused at what was going on. But I walk in and he goes, oh, this is the waiting room. So there's a lady and her child sitting there waiting, playing with blocks. And um, you're gonna sit right here, this is your office. So I just sit right here and then the doctor's around the corner. And I was like, okay. So now I'm sitting at my desk with my lab coat on like this. And I'm like, so what do I say if um, someone like calls? Like, do I, well, what's the name of this place? Blah, blah. Like, oh, don't worry about that. We just like, want you to stuff like. these envelopes. And these are the letters we're gonna mail out to people um, knowing about the alpha change. I was like, okay. So I started stuffing envelopes. Like, and I'm looking around like. and I just, I felt like so sketched. Like. And I'm thinking, I'm on candid camera. Like, I'm literally thinking I'm on a prank show. But then I'm like, oh, God, why me? Like, there's no way that I'm gonna be on this prank show. So <laughs> I'm just thinking, cause I see all these like little, literally like little oh, security cameras around. And I'm thinking like, this is some sort of like, oh, show, but I'm like, no, that's not it. And like, I'm still stopping this envelope. Doctor comes out with the patient. He comes out of here and he's like, okay, so you just have to take this medication, blah, 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 blah. She doesn't say a single word. And he was like, okay, have a great day. And he goes, oh, hi, Cindy, nice to meet you. Well, and I'm like, oh, hi, like, how are you? And all this stuff. And then he brings the next patient in and he goes, oh, you ready? And they come in and they leave. And then she walks off. And I'm just sitting here by myself, no phone ringing, just stuffing these envelopes. And then I hear, somebody help. Oh. Yeah. So this is the main entrance door. This guy walks in, by the way, this is Howie Mandel's son. <laughs> guy walks in with this girl who looks like she's like eight, nine months pregnant, right? And blah, 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 he's like, I need someone to help me, please, please. And I'm like sitting here and I'm like, uh. and the doctor comes out, was like, oh my God, takes the girl and takes it to the office. And he's like, Cindy, I need you to question this guy, everything, sit him down and just talk to him and calm him down. And I'm like, okay, uh, please grab a seat here. And I like grab a random clipboard. Please grab a seat here. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, um, your name is? Oh, okay, and, and that per is that your wife? No, your sister, okay. Were you at this point still thinking you're on a prank show? Or yeah, like I, I just, I was just confused, but I'm at a point now, like, I'm in, I'm in the, like, this mental spot of like, I just need to calm this guy down. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. like freaking out mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And mm -hmm. then, but I'm still questioning him like crazy. I'm like, okay, so when did this mm -hmm. pain start it? She's like, we were downtown and she started screaming. So then we came here and I'm sitting mm. here and I'm like, wait, why were you downtown? It's like, oh, we were gonna go to the downtown office, but it was closed, so we came here. And I was <laughs> like, so you're telling me that your sister is in excruciating pain and you left downtown and drove 30 minutes to come to this location instead of to a hospital. Like, but okay. And I'm just like writing these notes, did not go to a hospital, like pain starts coming. I'm like, how far along is she? And cause like, she literally looks like she's my heels. Like, that's the thing, she's not pregnant. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, this just came out of nowhere from this morning. And then he starts the telling, bump? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. He's like, she broke up with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend did some mm. voodoo hex on her <sighs> and saying that if he can't have her, no one can have her. Mm. And all of a sudden she just got, she called me and I see her and she has this bump and I don't know what to do, blah, 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 blah. And he's talking to me and as he's turning, like I thought I saw an earpiece, but I wasn't sure. Do you know um. what I mean? Like everything was happening like so fast. Like I'm still questioning. Tastes so good, right? We're just really enjoying this pea soup. Anyway, we do Bible stories, we go to bed. And I'm lying in bed trying to fall asleep. This is like, my stomach hurts so badly. Like I, I'm not feeling well. And then little Travis in the corner like peeps his head over. He's like, Kevin? <laughs> He's like, I don't feel good. At the same time, Carl in the corner throws up on oh, the floor. My God. I'm like, everybody outside. So I grab Travis, put him out. He's like, yeah. Or this. He's like so evil. That or that. Yeah, same. Like, oh, same. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> it was so yummy though, but it was just toxic. It was poison. I don't know what was in there. It might have like sat on it's soup. It might have sat out in the sun for way yeah. too long. He just like peeped his head over. He was so cute. He's like, I don't feel good. <laughs> My stomach is hurting so bad. I'm just trying to like fall asleep and then and everyone it just hit everyone at once. Because <laughs> you were not kids. No, I was like seventeen. I was I was, oh, I was the adult. He was a counselor. Oh, I was a counselor, yeah. The others were like seven. Bible. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. That's gross. So gross. Yeah, we're to, <laughs> yeah, I worked at Bible camp for two years. It was fun. Mm -hmm. I was also a camp counselor. Really? Yeah. Same thing? No, not Bible camp. I did it for um, the city, like, before. Mm -hmm. 
for like oh, college and stuff because I was going into recreation. Yeah, camp's fun. Play sports and it was fun. I didn't do never been because um I didn't do like the sports. No, I wasn't allowed to go to camp. They like force us to go in North Bend. There's like you go to outdoor school. You go for a week in grade three and then a week in grade six again. Really? I went to like every single day. A leadership camp. That's awesome. In grade nine, that actually changed a lot for me. That sounds awesome. Because like my grade nine drama teacher that nominated me to go to this like leadership camp thing, I never thought and saw myself as a leader. Oh, you have to make sure. Watch out to find you. Yeah. Um, are you that sure? Is like, because I was so shy. Yeah, like, I was like outgoing with my friends, then, but I was very like so shy with other shy. people. Right, yeah. Um, but like you can tell, like, z- like even in my kindergarten, like report cards, like Cindy needs to know that the things don't go her way. It's okay, you know. Like they've always been saying it. So he nominated me for this leadership as I went. And like since then, I tell myself like, oh my god, like I, maybe I am a leader. Like, so I'm really the table. And that just changed my perspective all through high school. So I pushed myself to be more in leaders, leadership roles, and all that stuff. And that teacher actually passed away a couple of years ago. He kind of like played sports. Like he worked in like Bible verses and prayers. He did a lot for me. Thank you. Mostly just like sports, hanging out, fun times. Yeah, I just loved the kids. Loved it. The kids loved it. Yeah. Because it's not all about. It's not all about Bible. It's a lot about just having fun. Dylan, Dylan went to one. He loved it. Yeah. They get homesick though, like six, seven year old. They're, they're too young. How long young. are they there? How long is it? Is it like a? It's a week. A week. Yeah. A week. A week. Yeah. Sometimes you're like. Two mm-hmm. weeks. Mm-hmm. 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 Like the seven, the seven year olds were too young. Yeah, when they get to like ten, eleven, they have a good time mm-hmm. with it and fun. Mm-hmm. But the seven year olds were just way too young. I heard you guys saw the Lord of the Rings. Like they're just like so tiny. You're so beautiful. It just blows my mind. I went one year. Like eight, like one year after seven. I was like talking to my brother. One like, year after camp. seven, uh, eight, 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 eight. No, they were all away camps. They were all like stay at cabin, away camps for a week. Yeah. 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 It was fun. I loved it. It was so fun. Nice. Like one year, like friendships. Like I had a mind. Bible camp girlfriend. I have to go through really? yeah. yeah. it. Yeah. with Sarah. Yeah. Oh. And after the weekend's oh. over? No, the whole summer. The whole summer we dated. Yeah. So you like, have to so over I at camp for the whole summer, words. not just for a week. I don't know. I haven't <laughs> talked to her in years. Well, what happened? What, how did it I, end? She was in grade 11, and I graduated, and I was going I was going to radio school. Okay. And so we couldn't do long distance. We just broke it up with that. Okay, so did she live in your area, though? Not anymore. Who the hell Yeah. Like, no, if we were the same age and we went to the same school and stuff, it probably would have worked. Yeah, it probably would have worked. Oh, I, yeah, I did. Yeah, she was nice. <laughs> but again, I was 17. I didn't know. You don't know what you want, right? You can't say X. You can't just say blah blah. Just say blah blah. Cause that's yeah. Sorry, sorry, BB. Uh, that's so funny though. Never think of like summer. Card, where you been? What I think about? What? Remember that movie? Card. I think that's correct. Yeah. It was just like come on down. That movie's awesome. I love that movie. I love that movie. Yeah. I love this. I love it. With the one of them is the dad, one's the mom. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the dance, Taika? Oh, oh my gosh, and the butler, I love him the best. The butler with the French outfit. Yeah, yeah, oh, the French. Good. The bathing suit. The movie's friend? good. I was he French. He was French, yeah. He was French. Yeah, he was French. Yeah, I was was French. No, I think he was French. Was really? he? And then I don't the girl, know. And then the girl that he loved, the really other, like, the maid or whatever, yeah. she was. Dating. So it was the dad and the mom, and then the mom had the butler, and the dad had that. <gasps> lady person. Lady person. Parent trap. Parent trap, yeah. Oh my gosh. It's a great movie. And that that evil woman was trying to marry the dad. Yeah, there's the evil woman we so said. Evil. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay. I love that yeah. movie. It's good. Uh, How they met at camp. Yeah. They pierced her ear, cut swish. her hair. Did you movie. know that the mother in this movie, she killed herself by doing ski in Quebec? What? The mother. The actual mom mom in real life? I mean, the actual mom in the movie? In the movie. The blonde lady? Yeah, the actress. She killed herself. She died? Yeah, many years ago by doing skiing. Oh, she was skiing and she died. Yeah, she like fall, like hits her her head and she died. Oh. A beautiful death. Thank you, William, for... (laughs) But the movie was really good. Good. That's <laughs> sad, dude. That's know, awful. Like, my heart hurts. My mom a, said that to me, and I was so sad. It was time so fun. Yeah. For because a movie. Mom, <laughs> and she died was like, Well, did you like that she died? No, he, first he goes, she killed herself. I'm like, what? what? <laughs> she <laughs> killed herself skiing. That's a big difference. <laughs> oh, okay. She, she killed herself from <laughs> what? <laughs> that is not proper That's a English. great movie. So no, it was. I love that movie. Yeah, it's good. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know she was. She died in real life, though. So. Yeah, my mom said that to me. 
That was when Lindsay Lohan made good movies. Usually we know already. Okay, other good movies. So that was a good one. Like a good, good one. Okay, did you ever see Dirty Dancing? No, I didn't. I never saw Dirty Dancing. It's always been on the list. People always talk about it. But it's good, and not like in the actual. Mm -hmm. With like Patrick Swayze and never seen it. No. Oh, it's so good. Okay, fine. So we'll skip that one. Okay, other good old kind of movies. From that, that was the movies were different back then. They yeah, just yeah, felt yeah. different. Yeah, they mm. feel different. Even like watching them now feels different. Yeah. Um. Okay. What else? Okay. So the Parent Trap for sure. Parent Trap's amazing. Parent Trap for sure. Remember when the girls. I actually watched Parent Trap mm -hmm. and went back and watched the original one. Oh, really? Like, there was an original? One. Yeah. Like, original. How, like an old, old one? An old, an older one. Yeah. Like, it's still, like, I went back and watched it, and it's still, like, good, but not sure if, like, I mean, like, people wouldn't really appreciate it because yeah. it's, you know, it's older, but it's still so funny. It's I didn't so know that. Good. Oh, yeah. I went back and watched the original one because I'm so crazy and weird. Like what is that. I didn't watch lots of movies growing up. Not a ton. No? No. no. We're, we're in a big movie family, but... Oh, I love what were some other good ones around? Chucky. You remember Chucky? I've never seen Chucky. You've yeah. never seen Chucky? The yeah, movie. movie. Okay, have you seen Chucky? Yeah, yeah. the first one. How is he? He's I've like 12. Chucky. How do you see Chucky and you have it? I'm 12. Uh, how old are you? I'm the same age as I am. Oh, you look so young. Oh, shut up. You're younger than I am. Six months. <laughs> By a year. Year and a half. No, I'm, bo I'm three years. Three. Yeah, I know. You're only six months. I'm, mm. I'm just like You're like a baby, though. He is, yeah. He's uh, so. He's my little king. That's why I have to take care of him. Yeah. <laughs> but then. Okay, then other movies. So you never saw Chucky. Never I'm saw Chucky. You never saw. Okay, out. Child's Play Three. You never seen Chucky, I the doll me. who came to a life, who came. No. Okay. Is it a horror movie? It's kind of like a horror movie. I don't like horror movies, but I kind of feel like it's a horror movie. But it's not. This doll came to life. The d Chucky comes to life, and like, he wants to become. He wants to put his spirit into an actual human, but he got put into a doll. And if this dog goes around like killing people. You've seen Chucky. It's, it's like a classic. Mm -hmm. We have my other classics. It's really boring, to be honest. Ugh. Really? Oh, I like, like it. Does not seem this like, boring. It's, it's like from the 80s. Like it's like yeah, it's kind of like older, but like it's a classic. Yeah. You seen Chucky? Damn, I feel old. We old. You see Bridesmaids? I know it's not a classic. Oh, okay, I think I've seen Bridesmaids. Hilarious. It's, Brides, it's funny. So Bridesmaids funny. is funny. Weird. Bridesmaids is funny. Bridesmaids was amazing. Okay, fine. We won't go back so far back. We'll come a little current. That's Can a I think good of like a movie. really good movie that I oh, Pretty Woman. Oh yeah. Kevin, it's old, but it's like a classic. It's a good. I movie. haven't seen Pretty Woman though. No. Kevin, I don't, what's about? Tell me, maybe I have. No. It's Julia Roberts. Uh, Julia Roberts. Okay, this is, is Julia Roberts. You know Julia Roberts? Is? Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, I know who Julia Roberts is. I have heard that name before. Julia Roberts, when she was at her prime, like completely gorgeous. Yeah. Big teeth, red hair, just. Juicy lips. Oh, she's beautiful. She's a. Curly <laughs> hair. She's a prostitute. Okay. And she, this rich yeah. guy, mm -hmm. picked her. It sounds bad when you explain it. Nah. She wasn't a prostitute for very long. She's a good one. A good, yeah, prostitute. Yeah, good prostitute. She's not a good dirty. Christian prostitute. She's not a dirty prostitute. She's not a slutty. Yeah. Yeah. A good Christian prostitute. <laughs> this rich guy, Richard Gere, yeah. picks her up, mm -hmm. and um, he wants her, I guess, for a night. She ends up staying with him for like a whole week, and he falls in love with her. He falls in love with the he prostitute. He falls in love with her. Aww. And it's, I, it's beautiful. Like, you have to, like, Aww. you have to watch. Okay, so Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. Okay, fine. Let's, let's go more current. Did you ever watch American Beauty? No. Yes, I've watched Do you watch it. that movie? I, I so love weird. that movie. But it's so it's good. so weird, but so good. I don't yeah. watch it's, it. It's weird. The guy's so creepy. It's, yeah. It's yeah. American but he's, Beauty. It's American time. Beauty is a, yeah, maybe a classic. I have to write that stuff down. Did you watch it. Eat, Pray, Love? Jesus. No. I, I do you like, do you like, like the notebook? Yes. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Like, I don't know. It's. Oh, I like the notebook. It's, it's so, like. It's very pretty. It makes me feel like. I'm like, do people in real life actually love each other that much? Is that true? <laughs> I don't know. It might be just a movie. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, they love I mean, each like, other. But do you think there are people in real yes, life? Yes, for sure, there are people. Love each other, the yes. Like that, that, yeah, that, like that's that true much. love. There is true love out there. I think there's it's, I think it's rare. Girl. I'm not 